what is the difference between the supernatural and the imaginary? I have a question for theists, but in the years since I've first seen this question posed, no theist has ever been able to answer it. So I want to extend the invitation to atheists and agnostics to see if there is an answer to the question. It basically goes like this. What is the difference between the supernatural and the imaginary? I first saw this question posed by an internet user who's called Blue, and so I've called this the Blue Challenge. And I saw this probably five or six years ago, at least on the internet, and the poster, Blue, has repeated this question to theists who've come to the Discuss Atheism section of BeliefNet, and I've never in all of my years heard a good answer. Given that, I thought I would throw this out, um, the challenge out on YouTube so more people can get exposed to it and think about it and try to come up with a good answer. Those of you who watch my channel know that as a social scientist, concepts and their definitions and clarity in those definitions and having common definitions so that we can communicate is something that is very important to me. And in that spirit, I would like to start the conversation by offering two very specific definitions for our two concepts. Tea time! The first word I want to define is supernatural, and I'm not doing anything, I'm not picking any kind of, you know, definition that privileges atheists in any way. I just went and got the Merriam-Webster definition, and I'm going to use the Merriam-Webster definition for imaginary as well. People in their responses, you are certainly welcome to provide an alternative definition. Just tell me where you got it. According to Merriam-Webster, the supernatural is of or relating to an order of existence beyond the visible, observable universe, especially of or relating to God or a God, demigod, spirit, or devil. That's going to be our working definition of the supernatural for this blue challenge. The definition for the imaginary, and I have two versions of this one so that people can select between the two, but they basically say the same thing, they just phrase them a little bit differently. The first is not real, existing only in your mind or imagination. The second is existing only in imagination, lacking factual reality. So you can see where those are two are related, but they emphasize, you know, existing in the imagination and lacking factual reality. There are two sides of the same coin, but I thought just to be, give people more interpretations, give them more flexibility in defining what is imaginary. So here is the challenge again. What is the difference between the supernatural and the imaginary as defined by Merriam-Webster? Can you come up with a clear answer? Or do you know a theist who might be able to come up with a clear answer? Take the blue challenge. Give the blue challenge. And if you um, have a clear response, please do either create your own response video or go ahead and put your, your discussion of the difference between the supernatural and the imaginary in the comment section below. That's been it. I've been Christy, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time on An Atheist Asks. Bye! Dee. Mm.